And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Ash Quinn. That's going to be our first donation deck today. We have a combination of Scouts and Frostbite is what we're going to be um, putting together here. Of course, we're going to be a Grand Plaza deck. Um, you know, being a Demacia mid-range deck these days, it's just definitely worth it to play this powerful landmark. And we're com going to combine that with Scouts because we want to be able to attack multiple times in a turn because we need to attack four times to level up Quinn. So we're going to have some different scouts between not only just Grizzled Ranger and Quinn, but of course Blinding Assault, you know, uh, getting us the Valor, but then even Green Fang Warden, which I think that's, this is a pretty underrated card. This card is uh, pretty awesome with the Grand Plaza, how it has the barrier and the scout. You can get like a free uh, attack in as a 3-3 challenger with barrier. That's really nice and, um, you know, get a free kill. And then you can also then have another 3-3 three, three Scout Challenger attack after that. Could be a good 2-for-1. You can take down two things with your Green Fane Warren, so that seems pretty cool. Um, but besides that, you know, like, we're going to have a lot of Frostbite spells also, which should work out really well. You know, like your Brittle Steel, your Flash Freeze, because, you know, we can make, like, a, a Challenger, like a, you know, 3-2 Challenger with the Blinding Assault in Grand Plaza, for example, and attack into something and then Flash Freeze, or, like, Brittle Steel it or Flash Freeze it, frostbite it get a nice kill and then be able to attack again and challenge something else um see so that's that's kind of what we're combining here uh and then we have ash that you know whenever it attacks it's going to frostbite something we can even relentless pursuit and attack a second time with ash but we're mostly going to want to be using relentless pursuit on our opponent's turn so we can get two attacks on our opponent's turn to really help level up our quinn because you know like we play quinn we attack two times with scouts and then we go to their turn we play relentless pursuit and an additional scout, and we can attack another two times, and then Quinn's leveled up. Um, so yeah, a lot of them put together. Uh, we we got a Winter's Breath in here. They can either frostbite all their enemies or kill some enemies. We got a Captain Arika. I don't know. These are these are some spicy ones at the top end. That we'll see how much they really uh, do. Um, I love the Moose with the Grand Plaza. The Moose being a six-six Scout Challenger is super powerful with the Grand Plaza. So that'll be interesting to see how that does. Um, yeah, that's kind of our deck. All right, so let's give it a try. It's gonna, it should be great in combat. Uh, we don't have any kind of like protection spells against against like damage based removal. You usually, see things like Troll Chant um, or Elixir of Iron, like that kind of stuff. We don't have anything like that. It's all just about uh, combat, attacking, frostbiting, and challenging, and all that. So, hopefully, uh, that that will work. All right, we're playing against um, some Zoe Lee Sin. The Frostbite cards could be great against Lee Sin. We are going to keep one plaza. We don't need the second plaza. And I will... I guess I'll keep this stuff. Yeah, I think we'll keep this. I don't... I hope they do not have turn one Zoe. That's too bad. I guess I now have blind, you know, drawing blinding assault though. I can now challenge with blinding assault. Um, if I want, I don't. I think I'll just let them hit me one more time instead. Ooh, that green fang warden can be good too. Looking into the future, I see purple. Okay, well. That was maybe a mistake, letting them hit me one more time, because now that's going to kill my Blinding Assault either way. Guess I should have done this on turn two. This is just gonna best case scenario change with the Zo trade with the Zoe anyway. Get all the gems. I think that's okay. We have like these different frostbite. We have the frostbite cards. 
You cost eight mana? You're gonna be pretty cool. Turn eight, but it's a little ways away. So, so far, everything's gone as bad as it could for me. Nothing gets between me and my mark. Hot damn is the boss. You best start running. Thanks, Weston and Choo Choo. They don't get to do any challenging. having the 4-5 challenger. So that Behold the Infinite cost them 2 mana because they didn't cast it last, last turn. It only cost 0. Oh no, it cost 0 in hand. So wait, what did they spend 2 mana on? Did they just spend 2 mana on that? Doing 17 damage to them right here. Put them down to three. Stalling, huh? Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. Never mind. We're doing less damage now. No one escapes my aim. I was gonna challenge. I was gonna have my. Yeah, you know, my four or five was gonna challenge this this thing. The uh that elusive, but now we'll just have the captain. Captain Rika. Ooh, I like the brittle steel. That's a good way to pop a spell shield. Cause I was more scared of Lee Sin than scared of Zoe. In general right now. Like Lee Sin 
you know, Lee Sin's just always super scary. Ah, it's too bad. Now I don't get to Brittle Seal. Okay, so basically, you know, like the real question is like, am I doing the scout attack or do I just regular attack first? And I, I think I just do the scout attack first. Yeah, I, I don't think I, I'm pretty sure I just do this. Fly swiftly, kill swiftly. I don't really see the punishment for instead of doing like the all out attack. Like, I, th I think this is better. The light of my sun warms the heavens. Hmm. These all now have lifesteal. Where are you at? You're at three. Okay, so I guess that's that's the punishment. I guess we figured out how I could get punished. All right, let's miss some up. Oh, I Bertrand. I still win this, so it's it'll be okay. I still win it there, and I win it here, too. And there we go. GG's. Alright, deck looks good. We, we did have Grand Plaza. You can predict your channel points, yes or no. We are playing against another Ash deck. We've got mid-range Frostbite, so we're going to be all frosty with this one. We want the Grand Plaza. That makes our deck a lot better. Love it. We'll keep that. And, um, unfortunately, we don't have the attack token turn four. Honestly, that's like that's where we want the attack token is on turn four. Whoa, we got a donation deck! From Tali Zoo. Thank you, Tali Zoo. Katarina Shivana. All right, let me make sure I write it down so I don't forget about it. Victory requires a sharp blade. Nah, you just need a sharp mind, not a sharp blade. That's good against Lucian Hecarim. Nothing gets between me and my mark. I guess I wasn't really expecting that. I guess I need to use Brittle Seal first for that. Still heart, steady aim. Remember me. I need just a moment. 
What are all these glory seekers doing? <laughs> As the arrow face me, you're mine. What are all these things doing? All right, so we're gonna need another. We have to play the Great Horn Companions next turn to get another scout for my valor. Or we have Blinding Assault. So I could go Ash, Blinding Assault. Hmm. I will unite I'm just playing the Ash first because I want the Flash Freeze, right? So now we have Ash, Flash Freeze, Blinding Assault. So that worked out. No, they're not frostbiting the blinding assault. Guide our allies, my friend. Avarosa, guide me. Wait a minute. I guess if I if I challenge this. The next turn I attack, they can't really block. I guess I'm not doing 20 damage, though. Show me a target. Just like hunting first for geese. It looks fine. Where Valor goes, victory follows. It's our time to shine, Valor. Remember me. So basically, either way, I'm going to have like one Valor alive, one Valor dead. Yes, I am. I am kind of saying this attack has to kill them. Which I guess if they have harsh winds. Yeah, I guess if they have harsh winds, that's a problem for me. So yeah, I can't, I can't do this. Maybe I should have blocked. Yeah, maybe I should have blocked. Yay, no harsh winds. Or even just a flash freeze, actually. Yeah, that was that was probably I probably needed to block. Let's get back out there. All right, Lucian Plaza. We got some Lucian Hecarim. Yo habla español was asking about Lucian Hecarim earlier, so we'll see how we do. Um, no Grand Plaza for us in this hand. Definitely want the Grand Plaza. Let's mulligan this card. And, I mean, like, all all these cards just kind of go together, so I, I won't mulligan any of them, but there's no, no plaza here. Love Brittle Steel. Where's our plaza at? Push back the darkness. Yay! Found it. Now I wish I would have played the Ice Fell Archer last turn, but oh well. We want to play um, Ice Fell Archer and be able to Frostbite things. Is mercy. Of course, for the Ash. 
Now, unfortunately, they have their plaza. So, this is going to be close. No attacks? No attacks is good. Yeah, just pass. Ugh. Burn away the shadows. Because they played the shark, like the shark was going to be like the thing that my Ash was going to, like if they don't play the shark, then my Ash Frostbite's there, uh, Lucian. And so by playing the shark, I got to play the Brittle Steel. Basically, like, whichever one was going to challenge the Ash, I'd have to use the Flash Freeze anyway, but by playing this Ice Spell Archer, we kill their, uh, you know, like, we just trade here and also save three lives, so, like, saves us, like, six life, which is kind of necessary. Pursuit could be good. Prefer to use that next turn if possible. But heck, I guess we could use it this turn. Basically, I'll, I'll trade the Valor for Flash Freeze. I'll keep Flash Freeze on me instead of keeping the Valor. Um, yeah, so I'll keep, like, the spell mana and uh, the spell mana and the Flash Freeze instead of keeping the Valor. That's not going to be easy to defeat. So they're still going to be able to put in a, a whole bunch of like big ephemerals with the Hecarim. That thing should not be attacking. And they should get an additional attack, because yeah, now the Hecarim doesn't die. They kind of messed this up. Did they just mess this up? Yeah, they just messed this up. Why didn't they attack why didn't they attack with Hecarim? I could just let this happen, and their their Lucian doesn't even level up. They're tapped out. The they just messed this up. I, mean, I'm, I might as well just save save some life, though. They really messed this up. <laughs> they, just, they just, all they had to do was attack with Ekarim. 
and then bring bring the other spectral light riders in. We're safe. For and now. then their Lucian levels up, and then they get the additional attack. All right, so we're gonna now head on over to Zoe, Aurelian, Soul. Yay, Plaza. We'll keep one ward in with the Plaza. Good, we have the attack token turn four. We'll just keep the one ward with the Plaza, though. Alright, yeah, you can use your channel points to predict. I'm something of an aspiring trachometrist. Naked researcher. That is a great card. No plaza, no plaza. Yes. Well, I guess that doesn't mean no plaza yet. I can still definitely play plaza. No plaza. Yay. Alright, so now I will I will just Grizzled Ranger. Yeah. Yeah, it's either Warden or, or Ranger. I think I like Ranger. Alright, let's mess some folks up. You know, the barrier being used against a 1-3 isn't... That's not much, right? It's a 1-3. And here's where I'd paint my constellation. Nah, that thing's not worth... That thing's not worth Valor. Alright, I'm glad we didn't. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad we got to s save all that. Ahead. Are they gonna kill my Quinn? I guess like double. Hmm. Double Pale Cascade. It's not worth risking Quinn. Or double Pale Cascade, that's not worth it. None are lost. They only await the dawn. Alright, now how does this thing how do Still heart, steady aim. I don't think they can kill Quinn now. Okay, I was like, I, I don't see how this goes bad for me now. Six kill. Quinn, Grand Plaza, and Great. Relentless Pursuit. And another Ash deck, this one with Heimer. So we have Heimer Ash and Quinn Ash. Let's see. No. Alright, so all these cards are good. And they are all probably good in this matchup. But there's no Grand Plaza here. And I think I really want the Grand Plaza. I want the Grand Plaza enough to mulligan all of these. Um, those cards that we just had were a little better than these, right? Like, like Harsh Winds, Captain Eureka. These are going to be more expensive and not as good. All right, but this is where we draw it. The Grand Plaza right here. No.
Okay, so I can either go Ash or Grizzled Ranger. I think I want to go Grizzled Ranger. This would be a very sad uh, static shock. Just trade two mana spell for two mana spell right there. Rather than use those interaction spells for not whenever I have my champions. Answers. I have them. Nothing gets between me and my mother. Hot damn is the boss. You best start running. So I'm planning on playing Genevieve next turn. Imagine we had the Grand Plaza in play also. Life would be really good. Here we go. I'll protect the villages. Don't love my chances here against Heimer making all these turrets. Not right now, at least. I think I'm just going to take the 7. Or maybe I'll just block with the 3-4. i just trade here. Hmm. I, I don't really... I, th I kind of want to like save like the Flash Freeze Harsh Winds again to protect the champions. Maybe I just block. Slow down, will you? Come on, you big grouch. I don't... I'm not sure. Maybe just taking the seven. Yeah, like, I don't know. I kind of like the block. But you know, like that seven one definitely threatens blocking Quinn. No, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. means they're going to kill my Quinn. I don't want them to kill Quinn. Boo. Can I just draw Grand Plaza, please? combat can do some work. I'm just worried, you know, like, I'm, like, as far as Captain Erika capturing the Heimerdinger, I'm, you know, like, worried that then the Captain Erika will die. All the world on one arrow. Slow down, will you? Warm hearts and hot soup. <laughs> So I'm, I'm thinking that single combat, like with Ash, and Heim, you know, can fight Heimer. I've 
bigger than you. Scary. And that is a summon draw card. So like if I if I capture that and they get it back, they will draw another card. Welcome to the tipsy hmm. Alright, I, th I think I'm just gonna go for this. If we are to survive, we must Hope the spell shield protects cap the captain. I'm just not that confident in like single combat, and plus, you know, the, like then I'm also risking the ash. I guess just thinking about that, but I don't know with how they've been playing the last like since then of like keeping like this mana up. I'm not I'm not real confident there. You know, they just use like a frostbite card, or I don't know. I'm I'm just gonna try this. I don't love either of the options with the single combat or the captain. They've already played two thermogenic beams, though. Nothing which is probably, like, the best watch. removal spell for the captain. I will unite the Freljord. What do you see, boy? <laughs> ow, ow. Joke debate. I think, I think how much better these would be as 3 3s if we had the Grand Plaza in play, like 3 3 challengers. <laughs> like, they got, they would be so great as 3 3 challengers. We protect these woods as they protect us. Ready, boy? Tread carefully. Let's talk about your dad. Adorosians, stand together. I've got meat bigger than you. No, no. Look out for reavers. Over there. These are our I guess if I didn't play this other one, I could have harsh winds and then they don't block. Guess I guess I could have done that. The time is right. Strike now. All right, so they're gonna have one card like this. So I, I can have the single combat and just kill the suppressible for free, or I could kill Ash and take you know either have like yeah, I could kill the Ash and um, I guess I can kill the Ash for free also, but then I don't do any damage. But then the suppressible is gonna stay at five five. But like, so basically, I'm killing a badger bear, but my other badger bear lives, so it's... Right, so like, that's the... I still have a 3-4 badger bear going into next turn, but so basically, the ash is dead, and then they have a 5-5 five, five suppressible. So that, or I could just kill the suppressible for free and let them keep ash. Um, I could could have used my Arika, but I do not want to use the Captain Arika. Plaza, <laughs> I don't need you now. I will still play you. 
you'll be good for like this Quinn that we're gonna draw next turn. Faster than my arrow? I think not. Yeah, we're gonna draw Quinn next turn. Go, go, go. Show me a target. All right, that's a great attack for me. And my harsh winds. No, no, go back and attack. No, go back. Yes, yes. No backing down. I'll lead us to victory. Does mean that I'm drawing Crystal Arrow next turn, but it's gonna be Crystal Arrow into um into Quinn. I can also just open attack for lethal now, because they're at twelve. So I guess I do that. Yeah, I guess we just open attack. Follow my lead. Not likely they can handle this. Unless they just drew a frostbite spell. That's still 13. GG's. That's a 5 0 for Ash Quinn. Now we rebuild. You can't handle the gold. <laughs> Alright, so we went 5 0 with Ash Quinn. Um, definitely my kind of deck. I enjoyed playing this quite a bit. I love playing, like, Grand Plaza is really cool, but I just really like, you know, scouts and challengers and frostbite cards. I've always really liked frostbite cards, so combining all those together uh, is very good. And then, uh, yeah, I think the Grand Plaza is kind of what would take, like, this kind of deck normally over the top and make it a lot better. We drew pretty well. Uh, we, we had some good luck in there. I mean, that's that's just what you're going to have to have for a 5-0, right? You're going to have to draw well and have a little luck. And we had both of those. Um, didn't really miss, you know, not having, like, Troll Chant, right? Like, we didn't really miss that. I loved having all the Brittle Steels, Flash Freeze, and Harsh Winds. Like, they were all great. And, you know, having three copies of each, I was very happy with that. Um, the Captain Erika was... It was good for us. We got to capture two things twice, and it never died. Um, but it's something that I was scared to play. But it, it, you know, it was, we were able to play it and it didn't die. So, can't complain. Did pretty good. Alright, so that's Ash Quinn. Cool little deck here if you want to play something different. And, uh, you know, like if, you, if you're somebody like me that likes playing something a little bit different, give this one a try. And then uh, please leave those comments, those y'all later on YouTube let me know how it goes for you. If you do, give it a try. How do you like the this uh, frostbite and um, you know frostbite challenger, multiple attacks, scout, all that put together? All right, but that's all I got here for Ash Quinn. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.